store. No, it's so two <laughs> bands for West store. It's enough. Fair enough. You get Zed, you get Fizz away here. And Lucian, of course, the Garnet Devil, played in the last game against Dark Passage. Was okay, very, very brutal. strong. So, uh, band away here. Early Lee Simpic for Dandy. Yeah, played that five times so far this second half of the year with a 3-2 record. Not his most played champion or most successful champion, but obviously wanting to bring that one out. What do AHQ now take away? You rightly said, Maokai has snuck through these bands completely. Is Pride going to go for that? Maokai's through, Nidalee's through. There are a lot of options right here. They're, they're definitely having a, a while to think over these. They probably didn't expect this first pick, Lee Sin, even though it's Dandy, you know, one of the huge playmakers with that champion. So it could also be because AHQ right now is trying to think, okay, which kind of comp do we want to run? Whoa! If I, if I was AHQ, I would run full snowball comp and just try and get a lead early on and win the game as fast as possible. And Twisted Fate is one of the best champions to do that on. Just snowball the game out of control. And Twisted Fate is Westor's champion. Yep. He is famed for his Twisted Fate play, not had it this much or that much to be honest this year to be honest but you know, that's been banned away five times from him as well so really making sure at least the other teams that he doesn't get that but he's gonna get the chance to play here against samsung white problem is twisted fate is very squishy and fragile <laughs> champion for the laning phase that's why a lot of people don't early pick him uh two of the assassins that are great to get uh against Twisted fate are banned out but there are more available as we saw mouse over talent yes. already uh, they decide to pass it up, though, because they can save their mid lane pick for later on and sweep up that Maokai early. But still, this is just AHQ saying we want to, first of all, get comfort picks, especially for Westor in the mid lane here. So if the two bands give him TF, don't even care about potential counter pick. I mean, he can run Exhaust. It's still going to be a terrible match for him in the mid lane. So Prides with Nidalee in the last game worked brilliantly. For Garnet Devil, Jinx is his champion, he's played it 12 times this year Pure and has a 12-0 record on it as well. Perfect year for Garnet Devil on that one. Again, we have to say though, different beast he's up against in the form of Imp who's locked in Twitch. Right, and so Nidalee into Maokai, same deal as we saw Ooh. before here. If they get the one-on-one -on -one oh. matchup, we might see oh. Pride do well in the one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I love the HQ comp here. Give them a few kills early on. I'm not going to say they run with the game, run with the game, but it's going to be there. The idea behind this one, I mean, they want to snowball, they want a one four split push as well with the nil in top lane, just have the rest of the members running around picking kills in mid lane. Yeah, right, it's usually Naz and Westor, the killers, trying to get some of those early uh, kills to get the gold and get the momentum going for the team. Two good champions for them to actually do that. Uh, really, the execution, though, is going to be a problem, because if you don't do that, Look at this massive team fight team from Samsung White. This will destroy you in any sort of team fight. And Green T, we talked about his thresh in that last game. He's got to land the grabs here on Blitzcrank. And, well, this is a chance really for AHQ to say, look at us guys, look who we are, look how good we are up against Samsung White. We've already said it's going to be a very, very difficult game. And of course, we want to know your guys' thoughts. So pop over to Twitter and let us know who you think will win this match. Tweet the hashtag SSWWIN or AHQWIN to at LOL Esports and we'll be checking in with those votes shortly. I'm guessing Samsung White are going to remain big favorites <laughs> here, but this is a very fun comp to watch, I think, as well from AHQ. They're going to win them some fans if they do it right. Yeah, you have to say, you like the, di the direction that they're going with this because they want to keep Samsung White uh, Samsung White spread out. They don't want to fight them in team fights. So, you know, Twisted Fate, they've got a split pushing Nidalee. They even have Blitzclank. Blitzcrank they can roam around on and force some hooks. I mean, even if the Thresh is taken away, Green Tea goes for another hooker champion. Well, Kobe is excited. We're all excited for this one. It's <laughs> Samsung White versus AHQ. A second game for both of these teams. And well, right now, they're the leading two teams in the yep. group. And look here, AHQ early on. All five members moving together. Blitzcrank, one of the best level one champions. We might see him just go into the jungle of Samsung White, try and find a lone Samsung White player and potentially pick up the first spot. All right, defensive ward down there, placed by Imp just in time to see the invade. So, alas, HQ will not get the early jump and surprise in this one. They they know pretty much all the movements of HQ. Yeah, they saw every single person go through yeah. that bush. So this is all up to Samsung White. Uh, decide to counter here. 
And same was just all the walls placed by Samson right down the bottom side of the map here, even out the river to see if it's oh. out. Oh, oh, we're gonna have a fight! Oh, Green Team's gonna face six straight into it. Where's the focus? Mana going low. Nas will actually flash away the exhaust. Where's the Guardian Devil? Green Team surely gonna fall here. No. If gets one, uh -oh. this is gonna be a clean up. Westos flashed away. All right, finally over. they get one back. Dandy off to Westo with the kill though. <laughs> now Guardian <laughs> Devil is in the middle of oh. no man's land. Oh, right. This is oh, gonna God. go for the fight, and this, my friends, is gonna be five to one. An ace will be delayed because they've got five seconds Holy. for Samsung right at the start. It doesn't go any ah. more wrong in these early stages. But they got one kill. Let's so, watch it again. Small, yeah, okay. <laughs> Blitzcrank is great, number one. If you manage to get a hook, and none of you to face check the entire Red enemy card. team. And, I mean, from here on and out, it's just Samsung wide, cleaning up all the kills. I do believe, of course, you got the kill from HQ here. Oh, Pride got the kill. So, the biggest part about level ones is the jump in level ones, because a little bit of damage goes a long way in those fights. Samson White, with the defensive play, with the wards, Sai HQ were able to get in position. And then, a beautiful flay. He's able to level up play and get a nice AoE flay on them. It's just there's not really a lot of hope for them. Westor tried to do his best. A red yeah. card is the optimal card for that situation, trying to hit AoE on everybody. But man, coming back from a 5-1 start in a level one fight, talk about an uphill battle. They already were going to have a hard time this game. Now it's going to be very, very difficult. 2,000 gold here after almost as many minutes, to be honest, of this game. Westall facing a lot of pressure from Pawn in this mid lane. And that's only going to be getting worse for him. You see the wind wall there blocking everything out. Meanwhile, Looper is up in the enemy jungle. In fact, Dandy had completely got confused by the oh, fact that Dandy is walking down the <laughs> enemy lane. There are four men from Samsung White on top of Pride right now. And that is another kill. This one goes over to him, who, by the way, after three minutes is 3 0 3. Sounds like my standard solo queue game, except for it's the enemy to carry every single time. But not even did HQ lose a lot of members at level one. They also managed to get in a 1v2 situation where the whole idea behind the Nidalee pick was to be one on one against Marco up there to win the lane and start uh -oh. split pushing. A return trip here, maybe? I mean, that's a ward on Dandy. Don't worry, the rest of HQ moving down. Oh. Dandy can get out, though. Uh, he does have a pink ward he could hop over the wall to. Looking for the counter here. Dandy going to lose a bit of health, but or a trinket there ward. is the ward that you were <laughs> talking about, and he just walks away. Let's see here. So top lane, Ganondorf has been able to just sit and farm, but uh, obviously the rest of his team has been dying, or at least Price has been dying down his bottom lane. Mid lane here, Westor, just trying to do what he can. I mean, he started both armor against the Yasuo's. Smart choice, but every single lane is just so far behind after level one. The biggest thing, though, is not to give up after a level one like that. Oh, never. Uh, everybody who's, you know, all these North American and European teams who have come over, uh, always talk about the scrims, how, you know, North American and EU teams will immediately forfeit scrims after something like that. But all of the Korean teams play them out and they learn how, you know, to come back from things like this. Yes, it's not a high chance of coming back, but you have to keep your head in the game because it's not over yet. Oh, Dandy that almost, I say almost being hooked, he just sidestepped away and Green Tea had to make the choice of where he was going. Sadly for him, chose the wrong direction. But HQ trying to help out Westor a little bit in that mid lane. You know that he's probably their big playmaker here, especially on the likes of a Twisted Fate. And to be fair to him, despite being behind there in levels, in experience, in kills, in everything in that mid lane, he's managed to get a decent amount of CS on the board, pretty much thanks to those wild cards and farming yeah. from a distance. And we did see uh, at least Green Tier uh, trying to roam around on Blitzcrank, which of course is one of the big things you can do on Blitzcrank in a lane swap. Going towards the mid lane here, sadly, Dandy managed to spot him. And nothing uh oh, up top this. though, two versus one. Oh, Jinx, not a good position to be in, and there is the kill coming down. It's actually Dandy that will pick that one up. Goes onto the killing spree to put Samsung White 7 1 up. The first turret is also dropped in that bottom lane. They weren't able to keep the two men away. and. Impermata between them in the incredible advantage there. We already see All the right. Cutlass picked up for Mata five minutes in. Yeah, once the turrets start going down, that might be it. I mean, once this Samsung team starts to get control of the map, 
like we said, they have the team fighting team, so they're going to be able to get all of the early dragons. They can force it very, very easily. And with the turrets going down, there won't be any room for HQ to work with to try and spread this team out. They really have no safety to fall back on whatsoever. It's going to have to be some miracle plays. So yes, that roaming Blitzcrank running around, maybe some three versus one, they can get something happening. Uh, but really, let's see. Let's see how efficiently Samsung White can clean this one out because that was something that we looked at in the first game. Yes, they got a very big lead and they pretty much handily had that game, but you do still look for the crisp ex execution to actually finish the games out. Right, and it's not like Samsung White has the best like siege comp here. I mean, Twitch is not the best AD carry. It's actually a pretty bad AD carry yeah. at sieging up towers here because it opens up for HQ to engage onto him and he's very mobile and obviously Yasuo being a melee champion here, so it's not like Samson White if they do group, can just instantly take down your tower, but because they are so far ahead, because they do have a Maokai as well in the least, and they might just be able to dive onto HQ, or if they should get in a situation where they're pushing up to the tower. Well, so far looking to control the top side of oh. the map here. They've got him cornered, but there are uh, reinforcements oh. in the area. He's gone. The other thing that, that could happen for HQ, you know, if the Samsung White do go for those dives, you can turn around dives, and that's how you can, you know, try and get back into this game. Especially with a Twisted Fate here, if Samsung White goes over aggressive, dives, dives up in the top lane or down the bottom lane, Westo might be able to uh -oh, join no. in and pick up a kill here. Neutral objectives, you don't want to fight over those. Oh, there's a flash in, they're going to go straight for Green Tea. He flashes out over the back. Oh, the hook actually missing. Or oh, Nat may still be in trouble. There's a hook from Green Tea off to the side, but Dandy, He's on top of Nat. He will pick up his fourth kill. Green T, the next target who gets played. Looper will get himself a first kill. He's got eight assists out of oh, the nine kills yet. so far. Prize actually coming in. There is West, though. The Wild Cards, will it be enough to get the kill? They do get one, but they lose another man. By the way, that's four versus five on this top side of the map, too. This whole, oh, it's not over. Oh, Prize is surely going down. Dandy survived it as well. That's a double kill for Pawn. And it leaves him at three. Zero four four zero seven for Dandy. Three kills on the AD carry. A one zero ten Maokai. Yeah. So the window of hope is turning around. Tower dives, but you cannot fight over neutral objectives here. Uh, not only because of the team comp, but because of that massive lead. And Samson White, even in the four versus five, they get the upper hand in kills. They've got full ward coverage of the red side jungle, so that's now their territory. Plus Twitch down bottom. Had a bunch of free farm. He almost got to his blade. Not quite there yet, though. The AHQ just have to sit in their lane, like at the towers, and just try and pick up some farm. If you ever move into your own jungle, into the enemy jungle, into the river, there's a very, very high chance you will die. So it's just all about sitting back now in your lanes and try and farm. And hope Samsung White gives you some time. But looking at the way they've already been placing all their offensive wards in the jungle, I don't think Samson White is going to slow down. No. I yeah. definitely agree with that one. And he is Pride going to be pushed by Dandy. The Q's connected. Can he finish him off? There's the slow coming in. Half HP, but he's got a tower behind him. Might be able to survive. Oh, oh he kicked him away from the Q. Could have been brilliant. Wasn't, though, in the end. 1-0 for Pride. All right, Dandy with a rare mistake there. Or was Pride. it? Or was it? Was he sending a message, Kopi? <laughs> you are a jungler. Do you do this sometimes? Uh, I do. I actually am notorious for uh, letting kills slip away. There's a YouTube We've all video seen that, that video. Recently. We've all seen it, Kobe. Miscalculations happen all the time. Is that why you're only playing Nuno now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh Dandy missing the queue once again there. Matter though is going to be coming up. It's a Max Ray talk on towards Nav. Imp is there as well. The slow comes in. Dandy appears from over the wall and it's Imp that gets the kill. Dandy safeguarding away there. Chompers are down though. And Westor had come in to join them. But honestly, a three versus three, you don't want that fight. Again, Samsung White, who have 12 kills to their name. Pride's now is underneath his own tower. And a run, no and he's got to run. The Q is basically walked into there by Pride. And Dandy gets his revenge for that miss earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> Imp didn't get any assist on there, too. He was sad. Oh, oh what a hero minion. Oh, he's got... No, he's not. Thought he's he's baiting Joe Miller. He's baiting me from this one. And well, why not? Nine assists for him, ten for Maokai, and, well, only those two kills, which have, granted, both been taken onto Mata at this point. Mata has now missed more hooks than he actually hit. Oh, Twisted Fate, where's he coming? Bottom, I uh, think. Bottom, yeah. 
And actually, Pawn here is going to be backed up now by Looper, who's just TP'd into it. Mana looking for the hook, and it lands onto Garni Devil. Leads it. Oh! oh he he it it's the time. Let's go. It goes down. The shutdown comes in for Garni Devil, but Imp will clear up and gets himself the double buff back. Questor's dead. So, again, stay around your tower. You might be able to hook someone in and get a kill here every single time you move into what I'm now going to call Samson White's jungle. You simply end up being, a bad, being in a bad situation. You end up dying. Stay in your lane, stay at your tower, and hope Green T can pull in some people you can kill. Let's see. Three members of HQ on this red side of the map here. Imp just recalling, though. Does pull off the Twitch invisibility plus B so he will not be interrupted. Here's that hook, and here's the miscue. Oh, <laughs> so Hero Dandy jumps in, takes the hook, ends up dying, and him, of course, can finish it, but still, one for one. I mean, it's, every yeah, that, single kill counts now. That could have been Mod under that turret. Exactly. He would probably survive, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Granite Devil here. Was there. Oh, yeah, so we're going through the wall. Meanwhile, Imp having to go west or in that middle lane. Oh, he's flashed it, but has he got the range? The oh, points are yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the fight comes left. Be in your Green lane. T looking to be oh. the hero. The dodge on the horse. Two kills. Getting stunned up. Yes. And he survived. Two kills for HQ. And Green T gave the kill over to Westor as well. What a hero. <laughs> That's another one. And again, they're staying in the lane and they get the kills. Oh, Great. Dandy missed the kill, but it doesn't matter. They get the knock up and Pawn comes in to become unstoppable. They got minions as well. And that means another turret going over to Samsung White. Meanwhile, Price being hammered on here by Looper, who's already got that Rod of Ages going. Doesn't quite have the damage maybe to finish off and track down that Nidalee though. AHQ have got control of their own jungle back now on the top side of the map. Ah, uh, fine. They have oh. a jungle back for now. Green T, can he be the hero? Will get the knock-up onto Paul Westor. Needs to throw the stun card. He actually has to walk around because of the wall there. Q lands onto Westor. Dandy, oh, he oh, is oh, going to oh. follow through. Q, uh, card is pulled there. The wow. Oh, oh, that's a kill. The super mega right death behind them. comes through. That's a hubris kill. Where are they going to go? They're already gone. Samsung White already out of there. Thanks to the lantern from Mata brings them to safety, but another kill coming in. Yeah, they do need to get back to this top lane, however, because Lupa is still pushing it in. Not that Maokai is the greatest play pusher in the world, and he will actually just back away from the tower. So AHQ just trying to get some kills now. I mean, trying to come back in the game. Can on on Mata. Oh, this could be a little bit deep from Mata. A lot of damage coming his way. Westall going to join in. There's so two. Cool on to Paul. That's two kills. There's two. Every kill counts here, and it looks like Dandy's come down with Lee Syndrome, so HQ still you know, have a long ways to go, oh, but they've got Imp. their sights set on mid. Imp stealth up. Where's he going to go? They are going to go for Guardian Devil and surely get the kill. Dandy is in the fire as well. Come on, Green T. Flash away. Green T is low. What can no. he do? He's going to fall to Dandy who picks up his seventh kill of the game and he's not done just yet. The chase uh -oh. west though. He's trying to dodge around from everything. Got to pull the stun card. Might get a kill here. Pull it here. Looper is low. They managed to pick off Pride. They managed to pick off west though. They did lose Looper though. So in the end, still a few kills for AHQ, but Samsung White is not done yet. What can Mata do? Nothing. Not a lot. They still got him cornered, though. He's on the oh. wrong side of the map here. Here comes the stealth up rat, just chasing him off through the jungle. Play to the Ruin King is used, and Nas knows huh. he's not really escaping from this one. Pawn's going to come around the side. One slap of the sword, and he's dead. You know, this is actually the first dragon that White have actually gone to. So they've really been ignoring, even though they had control of the whole map this whole time. They've been kind of looking for kills, I yeah, feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel that way, do you? Well, let's see what they <laughs> want to do now. Here. So they've been uh, fighting quite a lot. Gave up a few kills. I mean, by HQ, they do have four kills on West Door, two kills on Garden Devil here. Which, by the way, he's undefeated on Jinx. I do have a feeling that's probably not going to stay the same after this game here, but AHQ have been trying to get some kills. Yeah. Every single time Samson White works into just a little bit, I mean, they were there to kill them. And Green T and Westor have been looking stylish in this game as well, pulling in several kills under the turret. Let's see what they can do with the next TF ultimate about to come back up. Prepare for another dive, maybe. 
And that's the problem with this game, right? The, the, the start just went so horribly wrong for them. Yeah. We mentioned that it's not necessarily over at that point, but if you give an ace to yeah. Samsung White of all teams in the world at that stage of the game, they're not a team that's likely to mess it up. But, you know, AHQ, you have to give them the credit. Stick into trying. this one. Keep trying to pull things off as West Dog gonna get caught out once again. Uh, West Dog was already landed. He goes in there. He kicks Green T out. Green T will fall as well. That's a double for the rat. Not gonna get any more, but two is all right for them. That's Imp's eighth kill of the game. So two kills here. Rest of Samson White around this mid lane as well. Sneaking around. They might just take the tower. They might even go for a dive. Spotted there. They're gonna go for the tower here. And I'm not sure that it will survive either. Looper able to tank things up at this point. Pawn actually coming in from the side didn't have an opportunity. But that will be turret number five for Samsung White. And only the top inner turret remains. Pride's gonna spot Pawn there after putting down that trap. Pawn gets more free path down the bottom lane. Yeah. 17 minutes into this one. Goes without saying, I think. 15,000 gold lead for Samsung White. Well, <laughs> let's see. AHQ, they've got one outer turret left standing. I like how you're already laughing. And, <laughs> well, I didn't want there to be another silence. We can't leave Joe hanging again. We gotta work out this triple, triple man cast here. Oh, Pride's is dead. And is he now? Yeah, Pawn gets right. seven. We're gonna be seeing double figures for someone soon. Dandy's already up to nine, plus 13 assists as well. Not bad whatsoever, as Imp stealthing in. There's no one actually there for him to kill off, but get a nice juicy wave of minions. Got that Blade of the Ruin King, got his Ghost Blade. Got a pickaxe there as well at this point. Not exactly like uh, Garnet Devil can go head to head with him. No, and honestly, it's just a, it's just a matter of time now before we're gonna see AHQ stand five members somewhere on the map trying to set up a trap. Hopefully pick up a few kills. I might just go for a very desperate Baron, unless it dies right here to Samson White. Oh, so that's actually back away from But for AHQ, AHQ now, it's all about just like sit in the bush. They're actually doing it right now. Thank you very much. Try and get a kill and then go Baron and not lose the fight. Oh, there's the hook from Green T, but only brings Looper, who's got his ultimate running right into the middle of the rest of them. Stun card onto him. Looper is chasing Westor underneath his own Sorry, He's going to get stunned up once again. Can he actually twist and advance at the right time? Actually, Westor waits it out, but he gets hooked, throws the stun to Mana, and it's him that gets that one as well. Meanwhile, Pawn is inside of the base, throwing down his ulti on surprise. Will he get oh, the kill? Got yes, him. he will. Just another kill. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Zap, he did tag him. Super Mega Death Rocket. Yeah, he fired it. He fired it, but actually didn't land there. I think uh, it might have win walled Green it. Green T's looking to be the hero once again, chasing down. They're losing their inventory in the top lane. Well, let's not look at that. Let's look down towards that fight and see if Green T can be a hero. He can't. He couldn't chase them down. And in the meantime, Samsung White have pushed through and are going to get the inhib. Yeah, again, I mean. They don't really have a lot of options for no. defending, so looking for those kills. Just get some kills and you just have to rush Baron, try and pick it up and see for how long you can actually last here. Go out to Looper, might be able to get a kill. Mata's low as well. Yeah, Mata's low. I think they can pull this one off now. All right. It's going to have one a more kill here in a second to get up to Mata, who flashes away. But the slow of the void spikes will be enough. Green T's waiting for the last hit. Oh! oh! They, they win, Swag boy. Meanwhile, they lost their other inventory. Doesn't matter. Oh. Dandy now, being surrounded by three men. Oh, he keeps prizing. Oh, he almost got away! Flash over the top as well to get the kill. He's keeping going, that was his 10th kill. Oh, big Green. one from Green, Green Tea. Tea. And it is the shutdown for Garnet Devil. We held on to that mid we're lane. Seeing, we're seeing so many cool things though. And you know, why they pick all these champions is for the plays like this, the flashy plays from Blitzcrank. They have the faith in Green Tea's accuracy with these skill shots. He's a, he was great against Dark Passage on Thresh, setting up a lot of kills. Same thing here on Blitzcrank. I mean, it's hard to say what would happen if we didn't have the level one fight. Uh -huh. Obviously, Samson White would have been a bit more careful in the way they were playing and not just running around looking for all these fights here, but still. Green T has really been able to set up a lot of kills for his team. Sadly enough, though, they couldn't actually go for Baron. You could tell they're having fun, too. That's what AHQ oh, right Look now. at the player camps, they're laughing every yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. They're all smiling. Yeah, I think the realization kind of sets in at level one when you get ace that this game's gonna be a 
a bit of an uphill struggle, I think, if we put it mildly. So now Samsung White going about their business and controlling that entire enemy jungle. Mato in the meantime will help things out. Blue Buff's going to go over towards Blooper. And this is the point now where Samsung White are going to start closing in. He's pushing up this bottom lane. Finally actually running a bit like a team here. And not just constantly looking for these one-on-one 2v2 fights. So push up the lane. is going to join in as well. They don't really care about Dragon. They don't exactly need more gold at this point. Get Inhibitor down. You have to top lane down as well. And then you can just focus on mid lane and close out the game. So, three moving in. Fourth will be in. And this inhibitor should be falling as well. Let's see if they can do anything about this one. Doesn't look like it. Imp actually going to go charging forward. Who's he going to oh. go for? He goes for now. A lot of damage. There is Paul diving in. Green T will fall. That's Dandy's 11th kill. Imp is on surprise. That will be the domination for him. Yasuo gets another one. Paul actually flashing away there to make sure that he doesn't actually fall. Inhib's going to go down. Samsung White going to look to close. That is definitely going to be the game here. Nexus turns going down. Oh, want more kills. There's a hook again from Mato in the back. Boxes in position. Westall crawling his way towards the fountain, but can't actually get there. And Samsung White leaving just two men left alive. We'll focus in on the Nexus. And after less than 23 minutes here, we'll pick up the victory against AHQ. And there's not a, exactly a lot to say here. Level 1 went horribly wrong from AHQ. They had this kind of snowball comp, had the blitz crank, they grouped up early, walked into the jungle, and the one ward placed by Imp actually spotted the entire team and made Samson White just sit and wait. And once they face checked them, suddenly the blitz crank won't bring anything in at level 1. And the fight went completely in favor of Samson White, got the kills, managed to snowball the game. And to be honest, we can maybe put it all down to that one ward right at the very start inside of the tribush that spotted the entire AHQ team coming around. See the handshakes there, and we saw from the player camps from AHQ, they knew if you get aced by Samsung White before a minute hits the clock, chances of coming back are pretty slim. They had a lot of fun with that game. Seems like at least, and we did see some good moves. I mean, green team yeah. as well, like Westall picked up a few kills, Pride as well got a few kills on Italy, so. They tried, they did what they basically could do in this situation, just get a few kills. If Samson White would constantly overextend, maybe you would come back, and this is a very big maybe, but uh, in the end. And they knew it, it too. This is, this is a very difficult group uh, of course. For, for both HQ and Dark Passage. So. so we have to be honest,